Vanessa's youngest sister, Lupe Guillén, speaking to the crowd with tears in her eyes. <laughs> Guillen was present, desperately calling out for help. She said, I want my daughter alive. It's my right as a mother because she's mine. I gave birth to her and she's mine. What is up, it's Ike Mel. How are you guys doing? I wanted to cover this missing persons case that happened back in April 22nd this year. And I got a request to cover this story, Vanessa. And it's kind of an interesting, weird one because I've heard of stories like this, military stories where especially women they complain or they're afraid to complain about uh sexual assault or uh, sexual abuse and they tell a family member and then all of a sudden it's either they go missing or it's suicide hundreds gathered to peacefully protest outside of fort hood to raise continued awareness for missing soldier vanessa guillen the 20 year old has been missing since april 22nd so vanessa she's last seen in this parking lot between 11:30 a.m and 12:30 p.m this is right on base, right where she works. And it's reported that her belongings were all found inside where she works. Okay, so that's her car keys, her barrack room key, identification card, and wallet were later found there where she works. And I pulled up multiple articles. The description here by one of the articles is that she was in the parking lot of the 3rd Cavalry Regiment Engineer Squadron Headquarters, and she worked in an armory room as a small arms repairer, according to the Army Criminal Investigation Command, CID. Any of us will go through any lengths to find our family. Family. And so this is what we're here. We're here to support them and we're here to upload their story and make sure that they get the answers that they deserve. Vanessa, which by the way, she's 5'2", 126 pounds, black hair, brown eyes, and she was last seen wearing a black t-shirt and like a purple type of fitness pants. Uh, she also has a cell phone that's missing. Her personal cell phone, nobody knows where this thing is at. So that's super strange. And her car is still there. Her mom at the end saying she asked God to give her the strength to continue until she finds her and thanking everyone for their support. Vanessa's mother and sister are saying that Vanessa spoke to them in like confidence and told them that she was being sexually assaulted or abused by a sergeant on base and that she no longer felt safe there. Guillen's family says she was sexually assaulted by someone on post. The army so far is denying that there's any credible information with regards to the sexual assault or harassment. Uh, Chris Gray, he was the spokesman for them. Uh, they said that they are investigating every angle, supposedly, of this and that they want information and they want to hear every single story or allegation with regards to the harassment. But in an Army, in an email from Army CID, they say, quote, we are not aware of any reported sexual assault but are investigating all possibilities and have not ruled anything in or out. Now for kind of like the maybe rumor or information that I couldn't uh, back up or find on the internet, um, the person that I was talking to uh, told me that supposedly she had a longtime boyfriend. The guy would never come to visit her on base. Um, she just thought that it was kind of strange. They lived together in Houston, but uh, she was stationed in Fort Hood. It's not a far job. It's about three hours. And supposedly she drove home every weekend he was automatically ruled out as a suspect pretty quickly in to the investigation supposedly according to this person and according to this person which i couldn't find or verify this information anywhere online supposedly they said that the cell phone pinged uh on the base after her disappearance um but when i looked up the only thing i could really find is that there was an article that said that the uh, the phone was not found and that they're going to subpoena the phone company to find out where it last pinged. They're also going to subpoena text messages. I think that's super strange that they haven't found this phone. There could be so much crucial information or evidence on there, you know, and was that phone taken and wiped, trashed, made to be uh, disappeared. Anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts. Kind of a weird limited time today that I had to put this together. And uh, I just, this story reminds me of a uh, a black woman i can't remember her name it was an old story where um she had made complaints to i think to her family members about abuse sexual harassment and all of a sudden out of nowhere she they said that she committed the suicide a lot of things didn't add up in that story it was really 
really bizarre there was a great podcast on it too if i could find the information but uh yeah appreciate the support take care of yourselves peace